So, I've been a Galaxy fan for the longest time now, and this is my opinion on the phone. Um, I just got the phone a few days ago. Obviously, it's been out for, I think, about six months, something like that. But I've had the, the first Galaxy. I missed the second Galaxy, third, fourth, fifth. Then I came back for the Galaxy S6. Now, when the Galaxy had first came out, it was really, really nice. The way they did the software was different. Um, when you would open up the phone, pull it out of the box to inspect your phone, and you go to power your phone on, you would have this, this space-like background with all these little dots, little white dots like stars. Well, they don't do that kind of layout no more for the, obviously, the Samsung S series. And up until now, I tell you what, the Samsung Galaxy S10's flagship phone is not, it's not that bad. It doesn't have the flaws as the S6, the S7, S8, and S9. Now, there are similar specs, but they have been improved. Obviously, with each new flagship phone, there's going to be some sort of downfall. But I do tell you, if you are interested in purchasing the Samsung Galaxy S10 phone, the regular or the plus, you won't be you won't be dissatisfied. I, I remember all of the flaws that I used to deal with from everything running slow and skippy to everything not wanting to connect to the local towers. When I would go to connect my S9 Plus the, to the Wi-Fi network, it would slow everybody down. Uh, the S10 Plus is not so heavy on the Wi-Fi bandwidth, so it doesn't pull as much uh, bandwidth as it should. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to describe it the best way as possible. As in, if you were to connect your phone to the network, everyone else's devices would immediately slow down when I had my S9. Now, I'm not sure if that was just on my phone. That's just what I experienced with the S9. But the S10, a few features that I like is the ultrasonic fingerprint and the lower part of the screen. And I like the integrated camera, the dual camera in the front. Um, I think there's a cool feature that Samsung had in integrated to make it not so ugly. And uh, there's a special feature that you can download in Samsung store. Um, and it's called edge lighting. And it's like an update. And what it does is it sends a ring of light around your camera. And it's almost like a notification light, but it's not. Um, but it does help with notifications. In my opinion, I think it's a pretty cool audio to integrate into the screen of the phone. Uh, with that being said, um, there's with the S10 Plus, there's obviously a lot more memory than the S9 Plus. The S9, obviously there's more gigabytes, but your basic S9 had about 64 mega, or gigabytes forgive me, uh, 64 gigabytes of memory and I think 8 gigs of RAM, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, oh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are liking what you're seeing. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drive me more to want to create. I've done YouTube channel after YouTube channel after YouTube channel and it's like everything I came in was, I, was, I came in too late so like everything was dying off. So, and with that being said, the S9 was very sluggish. I think it was like a hit or miss kind of deal with that phone. There were so many flaws. I would be at my home, my, my, my home, and I couldn't connect to the cell phone towers because I got no reception, even though I had four bars of reception. Um, I obviously live in Columbus, so um, for you Columbus folks that see this, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you. I'm not going to rant on much longer. I just want to keep it short and sweet. But if you are interested in getting the S10 Plus, please. Don't hesitate. Um, I know a little bit about the iPhone platform because obviously my wife, she's got the iPhone XR. Um, that's like, I think, one or two behind the main Max Pro. Uh, it is isn't right. But if you do get this one, you, won't be dis you will not be disappointed. Now, it depends on the user and how heavy the user is on the, the flagship phone. And this has got a bunch of cool features such as the ultra slow motion. The slow motion on the S10 Plus is a lot better than the S9, in, in my terms. That's, that's just the way I feel because I had so many issues. I wanted to use all the features on the S9, but I just couldn't do it because there was just so many bugs. And every time I got an update for that phone, it just would not cut the deal. I was always dissatisfied. I had to call into my carrier because I was always having issues. I was always calling and complaining. This phone, in the same area, runs fine. I don't even have to have Wi-Fi. Uh, I guess maybe they've improved and updated the radio that connects between towers. Correct me if I'm wrong if that's what it's called, but the antenna. Um, just the connectivity problems were very, very vague. 
Um, I absolutely love this phone, and I cannot wait for the S11 to come out. I'm pretty sure they're going to do small tweaks over time, and hey, we can upgrade it, and it's going to push it off into the S11 platform. Um, right now, they're working on a Samsung S10 Fold 2, because the first one had very, very, very many flaws, and you could take your fingernail, and if you would lightly go down the front screen after opening it, it would leave an engravement of your fingernail. So right now they're reworking the models of the Samsung Galaxy S10. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot more features that I would like to discuss, but in this video, obviously we're going on six minutes. I like to keep it short and sweet. I will be giving updates on the phone as I go, maybe doing some small video logs, you know, showing the scenery, how good the video quality can be, and, and etc. But if, if you like this, I know that there wasn't too, too much information. I'm just trying to find the right points to give to you guys who don't have the S10 Plus or the S10 and are curious about it. Right now I'm recording off of it and the reverse camera, I tell you, is great on quality. I really, really like it. So uh, I hope this helps you with your determination. If you don't get the, the phone that I'm talking about now, then that's, that's fine. You know, everyone's different. Everyone's got a different opinion and things change over time with the devices. But thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe please. I look forward to doing more videos uh, on this phone. Take care. Subscribe and bye-bye.